going to show off uh, our mare Izzy today. This is uh, her registered name is Misty Morning's First Bell DV. She's an 11 year old registered Missouri Fox Trotter. Um, she's 15 two hands high and nicely built, as you can see. Um, so she is actually also registered with the Fox Trotter Foundation uh, Heritage Association. And she has a V-factor of 62. So what that basically means is that she only has 25% Tennessee Walker blood. Um, so someone can correct me on the year, but it was sometime in the, I want to say 1940s or so. Um, basically the fox trotter breed was kind of dying out a bit. And then they had a big fire in the, um, the records and they lost a lot of their records from fox trotters. And so in order to keep the breed from dying out altogether, they basically opened their books and they allowed a bunch of Tennessee walkers to be used to breed association. So nowadays, honestly, a lot of our Missouri Fox Trotters are over 50% Tennessee Walker by bloodline. So that Fox Trotter Foundation um, Heritage Association started this speed factor to be able to determine... Oh, she's already parking out. <laughs> what a cutie. Uh, so foundation Association was started so in order to show case the Fox Trotters that have a smaller portion of Walker blood because they have that old Foundation Fox Trot. Which people love. Yeah. So as we and we're there, starting to love it, we've decided, yeah. after after learning some of our other horses' foundation bloodlines and the ones that do tend to have less walker in them. Yep, have the better, better fox trot. And yeah. nicer gates, yeah. it seems and, like. And so as we added the walker blood a long time ago, it added a showier step, but it didn't. It took away from the glide of the natural Missouri fox trot. And so uh, this mare, like I said, you know, she's a foundation fox trot. She only has 25% Tennessee Walker blood, and it really shows in her gait. She has one of the best fox trots that I've ever ridden, and it's super natural to her. Um, so we're going to showcase a little bit of that here today. Yeah, Kay, and we, you clocked her, too. We have an app that clocks them. And you were so, Katie was so fascinated. This is, I've never seen you this fascinated by a horse's gait ever. It's such a beautiful Fox trot. Yeah. That you clocked her to see how fast it, it is on the yeah, trail. So I used a speedometer app on my phone. And kind of the average fox trot that I asked her to do on the trail, she does about six to seven miles an hour, but I pushed her out one time to see how fast she'd go without breaking gait. I got her up to nine miles per hour in her fox trot, and it wow. was still smooth. So she would be a lovely competitive trail or endurance horse. Yeah. She's very sound. Yep. Um, she's very solid in her step. She's not a trippy horse or anything like no. that. She's just a great, fabulous. You won't find a nicer gated prettier and this you know we we haven't uh, oh she's parking out we don't generally see flax and mane and tail she's our first flax and mane and tail fox trotter yeah, so very pretty person. really pretty yeah and she's tall enough and big enough and stocky enough to be a husband's horse yeah. um, and we would suit uh pick her to be suitable for what type of rider if it's beginner enough as long okay. as you're good with the horse that likes to move out. Okay. Um, she's very easy to control, but she's, you know, she's not going to slow down for the quarter horses. Okay. So you're going to boogie along the trail like you like to? Yeah. Yeah. Lay down. Lay down. There's that beautiful, fast, smooth, smooth gait. Katie says she would put, we have some really nice gated smooth horses, and Katie says she would put this horse up against any of them for her fabulous moving along. Very, I don't know if you can see, but Katie is not moving at all. I mean, uh, look at her go. That is stunning. Glide. Yeah. Because I've ridden fox trotters that do not glide. And, and she glides. Does. Yeah. Max, you hear the paka paka.
Man, that's cool. Her little tail goes way up too when you're doing that. Super cool. And she's responsive, but she's not hot. You bring her back down, she'll go back on the loose rein. She doesn't mind boogieing if her rider came. And she'll also go along at a nice slow walk if you want her to, or? Yeah, if you keep asking her to do it. Sometimes she'll get a little bit of a stretched out walk on the trail. Is she spooky at all? Is she afraid of anything? No, she's she really not spooky. Um, you know, if something does startle her, she'll just startle in place. Okay. Uh, which is really nice. That's and good to know. crosses everything we've got out here. She'll go around zebras, antelope, cows, goats. And we'll get some video of that later. This is just a little preview. So, that's Izzy. She's at TXMFT.com. Okay. So, we're just showing that... Um, you can mount her from both sides and go underneath her. A lot of times when you have kids, oh, she's barking out for you. She's like, let me move that foot for you. Yeah, you know, you know if you have somebody, your, your child might know what they're doing, but their friends sometimes don't, and they'll, oh, I want to ride the horse, and they'll jump on them from the wrong side. They'll go under their stomach. They'll grab their tail and stand behind them. We kind of like to do a lot of that to make sure that nobody gets hurt. So she's a sweet girl. And that's the wrong side, by the way. That is not the side you usually mount from. So. Girl. I guess that's it for this one. Yeah.